Hello, my name is Ben Roydel Ward, and I'm so excited to be presenting this recital to you as part of the Music from the America series. Today, you'll be hearing three recent solo bassoon works written by Jose Luis Hurtado, Luis Fernando Amaya, and Matthew Arellin. These pieces are all the products of close collaborations that I've been lucky enough to have over the past two years. They've served as motivation and inspiration for me to continue on my mission of expanding the expressive and technical capabilities of my instrument, despite the challenges of the pandemic. I think you'll find that each of these composers has developed a unique approach to the bassoon and that they've all sculpted compelling musical languages that put the instrument in an entirely new light. The first piece that you'll be hearing today is the untitled 1B Plus by Jose Luis Hurtado. This piece exists in a number of different iterations. It can be performed as a solo bassoon work, as a duo or a trio with two or three bassoons, or in the version that you'll hear today, which is for bassoon and fixed media. Jose Luis and I started with a palette of eight or nine super raucous multiphonics that serve as the foundation for the sound world of this piece. Throughout, they're manipulated using flutter tongue, glissando, and rapid changes in register and dynamic. This creates a really chaotic sound world that pushes the bassoon to the very limits of its capabilities. The second piece you'll be hearing is Pregunta Numero Cuatro, Chimera, by Luis Fernando Amaya. Luis and I have been working on this piece gradually over a number of years. We started by seeking out really delicate, fragile sounds that live right on the threshold of audibility within the bassoon's dynamic range. Once we had found a number of these sounds that we found to be compelling, we began looking for ways to connect them. We thought of these as bridges between different techniques. You'll also notice that Luis makes use of a mute placed in the bell of my bassoon. This gives me access to a number of muffled and yet still rich multiphonics in the very lowest register of the instrument. These techniques serve as sudden, violent disruptions in the otherwise gradual and slow-moving music of this piece. The final piece on the program today is Still Alive by Matthew Arellin. Matthew and I have been working on this piece together over the last year, and one of my favorite aspects of that collaboration was that Matthew borrowed my high school bassoon and taught himself to play it all on his own. This was really fascinating and challenging for me because Matthew came back with techniques that had never occurred to me in all of my years of playing the instrument. Many of these techniques form major signposts in the work, and Matthew does an amazing job of breaking them open and looking at all of the different facets of these sounds. You'll notice that individual multiphonics will be manipulated to isolate single pitches that then form the seed for a whole new phrase. A lot of the time these transitions happen very quickly as jump cuts from different registers, different sonic profiles, and one of the most compelling things to me about this piece is that it jumps back and forth between all of the extremes of the instrument and it contains the full gamut of the bassoon's capabilities, from really raucous chaos to total sublime stillness. I'm so grateful to Jose Luis Hurtado not only for his exceptional piece, but also for the invitation to be a part of this wonderful series. Thank you to Jose Luis, Luis, and Matthew for your artistry, for these exceptional new pieces, and also for all the time and patience that you've shared with me. I'm very grateful for our friendship, and I hope that we will have many collaborations together in the years to come. Finally, I'm so grateful to you for tuning in today. It's really a privilege and a joy to share this music with you. I wish that we could be doing it in person, and I would welcome the opportunity to be in touch with you. If you'd like to reach out to me, my email is displayed on the screen here, and you can always reach out to me via social media just by searching my name. I hope that you'll walk away from this recital with new perspectives about what the bassoon can do, and also with the same appreciation and admiration that I have for the music of these three extraordinary composers. Thank you for listening.
Thank you.